Flag Alpha 2A, this is the yellow class. Today is Thursday, March 2nd. Uh, my younger son's birthday, he's seven. I don't know if seven is an age or not. Um, uh, but he is that. Um, here's what we're doing, just a way to reminder for anybody who wasn't here last time, obviously you're gonna punch in this guy here. Um, anybody remember what it's called when you have um, two equations? I know when you have one, it's called one thing. When you have two, it's called something. When I heard it uh, there, it is system of equations. That way you can sound extra smart today. I wish you guys go to school. I wish you guys systems of equations. What is that? I can't do it. What we got? Um, system of equations. Um, for a equation, these, uh, if you've had your uh, thing out, and again, I don't want to do too much math before I get the, those chips. If you were to circle those equal signs, uh, say you had your page, this is what makes it a system of equations. Today, they're going to change those to greater than, less than, that whole deal that some of you hate. Um, and now it'll become a system of equality. To be equal, in means not. So in equality means not equal. Uh, today is your math day. Um, so important. Um, really, in, in real life, uh, and I should pause here just because it doesn't need to be the SPAC. It's technology. Let's say if I had access to a graphing calculator, who would I be able to do that? The other thing I want to say is your uh, computer is getting ready and you're punching it in. It's fun. Uh, if there's something already can clear to those students who are using it in the uh, second semester, the is a little bit harder, but whatever. I mean, Tom Tavari, I see something around the back row, and I see something around. Put those in. System of equation has only one answer. There's only one pair that will fit both of them. Today, when we do um, what's something called a system of inequality, there are actually going to be a million answers, and it's going to be your job to choose the right ones in three different categories. In three different categories. So after we get this together, um, I'll have you repeat a phrase after me, good, bad, in between. Say something about these chips, and then see if we can just start the process by going backwards. All right, now, everybody have their thing in? All right, um, for decimals, of course, you know the solution. Please go ahead and click on uh, the solution so that it will show. To find the solution of the system of equations, one is in graph form. It just means they click at the point where they intersect. Um, all of this should be on your paper, hopefully. Uh, this could be one of the pages that if you're able to do all of it. Um, that could be one of your six pages. Start thinking because by next week, it's my goal to have those who are caught up uh, to turn this guy in. And at least that's my plan. So let's see what we have here. Um, uh, I think if we did that one properly, it's hovering there. Sure. I put this one on the board for someone who, who wasn't here. Well, no, they could just watch the old video, but I think, uh, is it 4, 2, um, the solution on this one? 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. Um, so, you know, some people still get confused on this whole thing, like a, uh, how to count out. So you have a 0 there, and they 1, 2, 3, 4, um, 1, 2, I used to say you got to run before you could jump. I don't know what other teachers would say. You know, that way they know that you got to go side to side first before you get to that second one. Especially when one of the numbers is zero. When it's zero, it really throws people off. But just remember you got to run before you can jump. All right. Uh, let me see what that next page is. Um, put that dot in there. I think the line is shooting something like that, like that. Uh, let me see if they can punch in that other one, and then I'll start talking about potato chips. Um, go to um, page 21. I feel this glass on your paper. I feel like we put this one in. 21, you're going to notice the difference. On um, page 18, the one that you just put in, page 18, only one answer uh, where they crisscross. Page 21, when you punch those guys, and you're going to start seeing a bunch of shading. It's the shading that it will be my job to get, try and get you to know, okay, when I say shading, okay, so where's the answer? Well, is the answer just a crisscross, or does it have to do with all the different colors? And that's uh, my goal. So I'm going to go over to that page. If you're punching that in. Decimals, hopefully uh, decimals don't feel really, like anything to you, like, oh yeah, no big deal, whatever. Um, I'll see if I can get to mine as well. And I'll be letting you know uh, we get kind of where we're going. That guy there, this is page, what, uh, is page 21? Well, um, again, getting your 
in. Um, and you need to grab a computer, a marquee. Okay. Yeah. So if you have something trade, the answer is yes. It'll be top right door. So just if you can exchange it. Um, in your page 18. All right, we got to see if you can get one of those. Um, let's get you one of those in just a second. All right, so you should have been in class. Let me set some tools to help about these numbers here. Um, but here's the deal. Next week today, the main thing that I was giving you, let's say you're a student where um, math is not your thing. But you still want a chance of getting this. The information I'm going to give, Bible, non-Bible, not solution. Um, it goes with this chip. Um, if you had a chip bag, let's, I had a clear one so you can see through, but if you had a one that's um, covered up, of course, once you open up your chip bag, you don't get a lot of chips to find out like the chips all the way down at the bottom. It's the bottom section of this bag uh, that's going to be the good section. Same today when you look at the picture, you're going to get a picture. It's the bottom of the picture, the darker second side of the picture. That's going to be the good. So that's where you're going to go get your viable answer. Now, viable means it's acceptable. In other words, um, can someone say, um, how many units, what's a viable number of units a student can turn in in a school month and not get in trouble? A viable number of units a student can turn in and not get in trouble. Are you four? Is there any other number you can turn in in a school month and not get in trouble? I hear six. Um, I know uh, anything above four might be a little tough, but of course you can't turn in 15, can't turn in 20, so that's above four. So you have to be specific. Uh, I heard six. Any other numbers that are viable answers, viable solutions? Ten, four to ten. Four to eight. All right. And what I want you to feel is not so much, hey, how many units can you turn in, but that word, viable solution. Viable just means what's acceptable. Because the second question. Let's say non-viable number of units you can turn in, but you're not quite at the reasonable mark. You still might get in some trouble. What's a, vi a non-viable number? Three? Uh -huh. um, you did turn in units, but hey, you still get in truancy. So what's another non-viable? Two and one will get the job done. There are only three categories. There's viable, hey, you're good. There's non-viable, eh, you did some of it, and then there's not a solution. What's not a solution in terms of units you can turn in? Yeah, zero. Yeah, that's just blank. So this bag, the colors though. Um, here are your chips in the bag. You open it up. You don't want to spill anything. The viable uh, are your chips down at the bottom. I'm gonna twist my bag so that it kind of looks like the picture that you're gonna get. And I twist my bag. At the very top of the bag uh, is where you have no chips. Say you're sharing with the little brother, so I can see my older son doing this, my younger. Uh, I get the bottom section, you'll get the top section. I was able to tell him, uh, oh, I don't have any. Uh, oh, well, that's your section anyway. The top section uh, is going to be the not uh, a solution. In other words, there's nothing there. So the three colors you need to know. Uh, there's a dark, and it's completely white. There's nothing there. There's going to be two sides that I just couldn't do it with the chip bag. But what I want you to think of the chip bag is good, bad, and in between. Good bad, and in between. I'm actually today on your assessment, you're going to be showing a picture. A bag of chips. They're going to ask you, hey, where are the good ones? Where's the bad? There's the in between. The way you have to write it in math, talk, though, you have to give coordinates of the good. There will actually be coordinates of the bad, and then you'll get some coordinates of the in between. The only part that messed up to go from the other class is, again, eventually I'm going to stop using good, bad, and in between. I'm going to use viable, not a solution and non-viable. Viable, not a solution and non-viable. So let's see what we can do here to begin with. Let's start you off with um, with the picture that we had there. Uh, this page here, uh, and it's true. Three two works, four one works. The two two works. What we didn't do though, um, I didn't put in coordinates for the second one. So let me have you do that, please. Put in three. Um, Viable coordinates for the second one. In other words, what are two numbers? So when I take the first one minus the second one, they give me an answer that's either bigger than one or it's equal to one. Now this is what you're just doing with your brain. Your computer isn't doing anything yet. So when I show you how to do it on the computer, it's going to be straightforward. I'm going to have you make a little box, and not only will you be able to get three answers, but automatically with one box, you get four answers for each category. Okay. Um, so choose three, and then I'll, I'll take one from each table. I'll do one from this front table here with uh, uh, with Janet. I'll do one from the table there. Um, 
uh, with Victor. Uh, we'll skip back table for this time, um, just so we can have four. One here, and then one up here. What, what, so maybe not, okay, what does he want from us? Just what are two numbers? And when you put them in, it's bigger uh, than a one. All right, here we go. Let's uh, wrap around. Then we'll, um, I'm going to put my decimal stuff. Show you how to put a box and get three answers. Today shouldn't go all the way to the end. Today should go all the way to the end. Because you just need to know good batter in between. So here it comes. Um, front table here, a Janice table. Um, what are two numbers that when you subtract them, it'll give you a number that's either equal to one or bigger than one? Three and two get it done. Uh, back row, a different set, but not the same numbers. You subtract them, it'll give you something bigger than one. This is Desmond and uh, Victor. Oh, I guess that does work. All right, um, this table right here, two numbers. You subtract them. The answer would be one or bigger. Yeah, yeah. two minus one will get the job done. Uh, front table here. Back table, you guys want to help them out? I think this is interesting. I feel what's worth thinking about. And by that I mean, if I need it to be bigger than one, really, I'm going to erase that. I can start with 11, 10, 9, 7, 6, I can go 1,000, because the minute I just use the number that's, you know, I can put a put a 2 here, I can even put just a 1, a 1, all of these numbers, 11 minus 2 is 9, 10 minus 1 is 9, 9 minus 1 is 8, all those are bigger than 1, I feel like, yeah, they're like a million, and all the answers will actually have a million choices. Um, so when it's time to put your answers down, they'll be that. So what are we going to do with these potato chips and the computer? Let's do the very first time that I'm going to mark. Um, <clears throat> if I had you sketch the picture, okay, some people have it colored in. Hopefully uh, um, everybody on page 21 kind of has it colored in. Let me also have you do one other thing with highlighters. You're going to have to switch them back and forth. Does back table have highlighters? You're going to switch them back and forth, but what I'm going to have you do is to highlight one of the equations with one color and on um, decimals you may have to block out the other one like the little bubble on the side um, you may have to bubble it out but the point I want to make is highlight this guy with one color and whatever line goes with it um, and this picture I don't have out um, this, this picture looks like this, one is, this guy is looking up okay he's looking up make one color with one of them then switch the highlighter, um, highlight the second guy, and then kind of color him. Now, if you did it with a pencil, and that's the way it normally happens, it's true, um, you wind up with lines, like doing straight lines with your pencil to kind of go that way, and then the other guy to go this way. Well, also, if you kind of shave, yes, you're going to have to shoot your highlighter, the raw table tap highlighter, like, back table, you've got to tap highlighter, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's someone else who needed one of those. Did I ever get a few over there? Someone else uh, asked for one of these. I don't know if I gave it to the table, Hattie, but you guys just have yo yo. Now, you'll have to switch them um, back and forth. So, table here with three. Each person take one, wait for the other person to kind of finish, um, and then take that. When it is time, um, here is my potato chip bag. So here comes the words I'm going to throw some people off the boat. With your potato chips, it's obvious where the good stuff is down at the bottom. Um, on our picture, the good stuff will also to be um, where the colors overlap. Those are going to be the answers you're looking for. Um, and I'm going to show you how to get four of them in just a moment. Now, this is the only time I'm going to write the word good. Um, uh, up here, nothing in the chip bag. That's the bad section. They're not. I'm going to write in the real words in a second. In between, you just go either side. In between, it's like, well, you kind of have what I'm looking for in a person, but just not enough. Uh, so here we go. Uh, in between, I'm writing my in between like this. Good, bad, in between. 
Now, you all come into education just at the right time, a long time ago, we would have to solve the equations manually, and then graph, and graph, and then we'd have to shade it, shade it, get the right part. Then after all of that, put out an appropriate solution. You guys have come into education just when they go like, you know what? Why are they happy with that? Why not use five? Why not have to do it on the computer? And just see that they understand what each of the sections mean. Um, so here it goes. Viable. Viable just means acceptable. A viable number of views to turn it up so you don't get in trouble. Be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Because of the order that um, they're going to put them in, the in betweens are non viable. And I should put viable solution. Yeah. I don't want to speak words. Words makes math hard. Oh. Viable solutions is what we're talking about, or non viable solutions, non viable. Bit bad in between. The bad just has a not. It's the only one that has a not. The reason I say this is on one of the old assessments. Um, the order that they asked for the questions, some students didn't read the words that they were saying. So they kind of put the um, the non Bibles where they should have put a not a solution, not solution. All right, good, bad, in between. Chips, no chips. I don't even know what the slide represents in that old chip scenario. I, I was trying to, I was trying to crush them, make a little pop on the side. All right, good, bad, or in between. All right, Thomas, hey, give them some answers. This is a picture that no chips. Give them some answers. Give them the answers. One, for viable, this is the most important part for viable, you cannot use negative numbers or whatever. Um, they're going to give you a real world uh, situation. Real world scenario, and in real world problems, no negative. You can have negative time. You can have negative people. Um, so, how do I get my answer? For a viable, I don't know where you're gonna write your answers. Um, I'll do non-viable right next to it. We're gonna do four answers a piece, but I'm gonna show you kind of how I want you to do, uh, and then not the solution. Um, I'll put not solution. Now, again, it's true, there are literally uh, an infinite number of answers. Like, like there are a hundred, there's a million, there's a hundred million. And today, I just want four from you. How do I get the four? You're going to make a little baby box. For the um, viable solutions, I'm going to put a box here. I'm going to label it A, B, C, D. So will you A, B, C, D. Each corner, each corner of the corner of that box, represents one of the answers. And that's for the viable, even the double color. If I need a non-viable, it's either side, I can go pink, I can go blue, um, I'm going to put this box here. This first time, oh, and let me do one of the answers so that uh, some students will see. Um, color technically doesn't matter. A, B, C, D, E. F, G, H. It turns out, by the way, I'm making you do more than they will ask. They're either going to do two, 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 two of each. You may even just ask for one of each. But uh, Bible, let me write down one of them. Um, I'm going to do A. To get the A, I got to go one, two, three, and up one. For A, I wish I would have given myself some space so I could have written it going down. But for A, I had to go over one, two, three, and I jumped up one. Those who have trouble with that one, that's this guy right here, this dot here. The common one. Now, what I'm trying you to do, now I want um, A, B, C, D. Again, you would do B and his coordinates. You do C and his coordinates. These are the, um, by the way, these answers are good. Non viable, you're almost there. It's going to be uh, put E. And while you, I'm choosing the boxes for you, if it were a test scenario, you could choose your own box on either side. And then take, uh, if they say take two of the dots, take two dots, take three. Uh, I'm going to put this one here. I'll do this guy here for not a solution. 
Um, this is the only time I'm going to do 444. So every time after this one, either it'll be 422, 421, 222. I won't do 4 again. Where are we here? Um, let's make what letters? G, H, I, J, G. This one. Um, it should be a little picture on your desk. It'll be hard to see. Um, I don't know if you can use mine to help you. Right, so, what is he going to check mark? Give me a favor. I want you to I think you just put an answer. I told him I have to run so they could jump on D. Uh, one, two, three. But they didn't jump. Uh, non and then not. You know, that's, that's the only way I can shorten it. Um, so while you're still writing, let me um, switch in back to that page. What I want you to do uh, very fast, I'm going to write down the three different scenarios that they can give you to try and fool you, uh, and so that you're not fooled. Um, you are going to have to put it above. I don't have the space to above, so I'm going to squeeze mine in right here. And here's what I want you to do. The first scenario that we um, just looked at, um, you're going to put an X. Um, and we're going to close in that bottom bag of the chips. Um, this very first time, um, I'm going to put in Bible. Um, then I'm going to put in right here. Not, this is what I'm asking you to do. I'm going to do two other pictures. It's the vocabulary I'm trying to get into you right now. So it's not like, oh, they don't get it. Like, I'm going to use that vocabulary on the thing. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Um, Bible, and then non. I'll put non bio. Write that one down. We can do two other scenarios. This first one I did for you, just so you know. Okay, I get it. You make an X. So the chips in now at the bottom. The top is the terrible thing on the side. You can look the side of the bag. I don't know. It could be a scenario where it's like you're eating some of the chips, but you're really I don't know. Now here comes um. Second scenario, which you have to put it in. It starts with an X. This time they knock the back down on the side. So he's labeled the good, bad, and you see the Bible, that's good. But not really. Maybe nothing. And then there's the um, in between. And you do it one last time. Oh, damn, it's just it's the vocabulary that messed up. Um, we're at least halfway to the to the assessment. Um, what I'm going to probably do is have you do a complete one on your own, just getting a two two two. Last version of it, the bag is completely upside down because I twisted it. Last one. Hey, why would you do that? Just in case they switch it up, they switch it down, they move it around. Um, you're labeling. So this one, my goal is to uh, come around and to uh, do a check mark on this one because the words are so important on here. Um, you're doing this one probably on the top of this page. I only want two, 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 not four, four, four. And yes, you get to choose. So when I when I come around and check mark this one, it's going to be harder for me because. What if he chooses the box extra high, he chooses the box extra low? As long as you label your A, B, C, and label your good, bad, in between, that is your um, viable, not viable, and non viable, viable, non viable. I have to do this one, then we'll get you the ugly word problems with the sweet um, do it on the test level, and then uh, after that, I'll check to make sure you I feel pretty good on this one, and then ultimately, um, we'll give you the actual one. As you work on these, just know what I've been doing, not solutions. I've been working up to the three um, level. I haven't done any fours. Four extra ones should write out the equations and then put in the. Let me do a four and 
next week. Only two in each category. Your little box is so small. I'm so sorry about that. Computers up and we come around just start picking up the pictures there, which is that part I feel really So let me erase. Finish and you're kind of just waiting again. You can um, put in some of the stuff. On this lesson to make it easier for you. Normally, when you teach this, you also go on about greater than and less than, and in a word problem, when they say no more than, it's the other way. You say stuff like, uh, it's no more than, goes with this symbol. I'm like, no, I'm not going to do it. Stick with the bag of potato chips. Um, that way, for sure, um, they'll get this freebie. Also, I did last year, uh, when I thought I did the whole deal, and while I I lost out on the good battery in between, trying to get to the other thing. Like, what? So I lost both pieces. They couldn't do that piece, and they missed out on the easy piece. So I decided, you know what? Let's put this side away. So what happens if most of us pass the side, and the two people who might have gotten this part, um, somehow we have to figure out how I'm going to give that give an opportunity to do that. On Tuesday, I may offer that somehow, and say that everyone else who passes, you can mess around with it. Um, but just know you're already in the safety zone. Um, Alright, so we got our picture up here, um, I'm going to try this, see what happens. Um, for a problem, this is page 22, I'm going to take uh, some vias, viables, I'm going to take um, a non, two nons, um, and then I'm going to take a not. Um, again, your, hopefully your answer will be A-OK. -okay. Um, I don't know. So let's do it from, uh, if you answer one of these, don't answer the six possibilities. Uh, someone give me a viable on uh, this one. 20 and a zero for a viable. Um, even though on this picture, for some reason, it feels weird. I feel like 20 is going to be like down here. Did I type my thing right? Is my picture right? Okay. A one and a four. I don't know. I feel like that's going to be... Let me take another suggestion and see what, what happens. Okay. Wrong. okay, okay. I was like, all right. Uh, it should be X. X. So uh, oh, okay. The uh, top one should be reversed and the bottom one should be the opposite. Okay. Yeah, then I'm starting to think like, hey, I think my picture doesn't look right, too. All right, so let's uh, take you back. And then make you. So this guy should actually be less than or equal to. And his friend over here. I don't know. Did I do it wrong again? Yeah, yeah because I like to be wrong. I don't want to be right. All right, uh, here comes. Uh, let's make him point to the right. And then his friend down here. We're going to switch you around. All right. Maybe point the other way. All right. So again, in this top section here, these guys here are going to be the viable. Um, that guy, I'm going to take a different one. I don't know if you'll be able to use him. Someone give me a second one. Uh, 
let me choose um, this box here. Now there's no need to um, go high, and for a knot, I'm gonna choose this box here. And then for this guy over here, um, I'll choose this box here. Do I need all four of them? No, I need all four. I just want to feel how easy it is. Uh, if they give you ask for two, and uh, you can do those. So um, the idea of asking out there, I guess, was a good idea, but a bad idea at the same time, just because there's so many possibilities. So let me do good, bad, in between. All right, I'll choose you and you. You are a four, one, two, three, 43. 43 looks like it'll work, and probably uh, 44, I'll put 44. The bad, let's see, I'm gonna go with uh, four, uh, four negative one, four negative two. Oh, that's in the bad, the not. See how I messed up? Somebody else did the same thing. They put the, um, they just went in order. Um, so I'm going to recommend on your chart, uh, the next problem about the handout is going to be a handout. Make sure you put the, the, the via, the non, and the not where they go that way. Even if you messed by new, you meant the right thing. So I'm in the not section. I'm doing 40 negative 1 and 40 negative 2. And then this not thing, I'm going to do a negative... Uh, one, two, three, negative three, one, negative three, two. When I bet, oh, it is, isn't it? My bad. <laughs> That's true, I started counting from there. Good eye, good eye. All right, uh, so where should we be? I should be at three, one, two, two, one, two, 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 one, two, two. The other part, and I'm glad I kind of messed up there to say, if you mess up in this section, usually when I have to put something, it's going to be something like that. Oh, you put in the wrong section. Oh, you put it, sure, that should be a negative two, should, you know. But the, if you label it, the bio, good, uh, the not bad, the silence. All right. If what we did today felt understandable, almost easy in some cases, and that's a super thing for both of us, because it's such a bad Oh, there you go. Let's do it. I do what I want, which is definitely some people see those numbers. I'm trying to just make it big enough just in case the picture is blurry. I recognize yours may be different, but just uh, for the point, now, uh, for a knot, I'll choose this guy for no particular reason. Uh, this is in my knot section. Uh, I'm going to put uh, my friend right here. He'll be in my viable section. Oh, they needed two, two viables? I'll put his little brother up here. Uh, they're in the viable section. You get to be C. And then, um, sure, you get to be in the non. What if I didn't choose these? Okay, okay. This is the grand finale. After this, we're going to get you assessment. Um, perhaps we take maybe five minutes on that and then let it be that. Oh, well, let's call you D. If you didn't put letters, help with letters, because here's why letters help me. The minute I know it's a via and I see a, a B and a C, before I have to look at your the actual number you chose, I know, okay, well, he's in the right section. If I see it being a C and it's over here, I'm like, okay, I don't even need to look because they're in the wrong section. Um, here comes a, a not and a not. A uh, not is an A. My not happens to be my D. Uh, and here it comes. Each one of these is a, each one of these boxes a, okay, they each one. So where are you, B? B had chose 13 comma, Looks like 13 comma 8. 13 comma 8. Another question, why would I write down my answer? How, how would that help you? Because your answer would be different. <laughs> Wait, is it enough just to have it in the section, like the ABCD? Uh, yeah, I don't know if you'd like. 13A, 
What did you get? 49? <laughs> it didn't help. Yeah, you're exactly right. Alright, um... I think they get the point. They get the point. They could work. The section B is this heavy stuff. So just for those who will maybe cross over eventually, um, for now, just highlighting. Hey, Chloe needs to buy um, packs of erasers and posters. Uh, highlight the um, erasers and posters. Any of these problems, they always compare two things. They cancel erasers, markers, and pens. They always compare two things. You just need to tell what they are. You do give them names. Um, here they use the E and the P, but normally just the first guy is X, second guy minus Y. Uh, they usually tell you how many of them there were. Did they do it yet? Each poster uh, is 90 cents. I'm going that guy. And each pack of erasers, 150. Usually they do that. You got two things every single time. You got two things. And one of them is this much, and one is that much. You just connect that. Uh, she wants to buy theirs, the part that I'll do next week. At least uh, 20. I mean, you gotta have at least 20, you gotta connect 20. You can have 27, but at least 20. How do you write that with those symbols? Um, she doesn't want to spend more than, yeah, 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 max it out at $25. That's what I gave you, 25. Now, some of you aren't even marketing, you pack it up, I don't know how you're doing that. Um, no, no more than 25, highlight that. Okay. And then the last part, this situation could be modeled. Please circle, this is the new word nowadays. Anytime something's happening in real life, and they write it as an equation. You are modeling real life. Um, but again, like I said, next week, we'll mess around with uh, actually how to put some good at this. How to go from this paragraph to these two lines. We get the two lines. Alright, get your mind ready, get your mind ready. Turns out you can uh, clear the computer and close that up.
board, but I feel like you're going to have to look at your tricks and try to pick that bomb on the board so that um, it'll be big enough for you to see. Thank you. 
Monday for the papers. Oh, yeah, right. Right. right, and Tuesday. Got it, got it. 